easy in the first half. Second half, though, they really came yeah. to play. How worried did you guys get going down the stretch? Did you get worried going down the stretch? Uh, yeah, I definitely got worried because although I was um, uh, I was way too young to remember some of the state trips we took uh, when I was little, but I know I've heard my dad, he's been on the bench for uh, all of them. I don't even know, but uh, he, uh, I know I've heard stories of so many stories of we're up seven with 30 seconds left and we lose. and. You know, some people call it, it's, it's a curse. We just we just couldn't get over it. And uh, um, when that shot hit off the backboard, that full court shot, it was, uh, there's nothing like it. It's a great feeling. With good reason, Martise, Trey, and X get a lot of the headlines. You and Dan Tez do a lot of the dirty work. You're undersized today. It didn't matter, though. Exactly. You know, Martise, Trey, and X, that's the, best, uh, that's the best guard trio in the state, in my opinion. And, me and Dan Tez knew coming in. I mean, Dan Tez, that's three games in a row where he's guarded 6'7", 6'8", and 6'10". So Dan, me and Dan Tez, we, uh, we knew that we were going to be a big part of this game. My dad, before the game, said the game, he said to me, uh, me, Dan Tez, Ethan, and Corey said, right here's the game. The U4, we got to, because I mean, 6'8", and 6'10", that's, that's no joke. Uh, we knew we had to box out and get a bunch of rebounds, and uh, luckily we did, and we pulled one out today.